day, grade 10s. Welcome to this next lesson in our preparation for our test week. In this lesson, we're going to look at equations and inequalities. So the first type of equations that we're going to look at are simultaneous equations, and there are three different ways that you can solve simultaneous equations. Now, most of the time in the exams, they're not going to give you a specific thing. That they're not going to say it's solved by elimination or substitution or by equating, but they might. So I'm going to go through the three different methods so that you can learn how to solve using any of these methods. Okay, so the first is solve by elimination. What they mean by solve by elimination is we need to get rid of one of the variables. Okay, so you've got y is equal to 2x minus 2 and y is equal to minus x plus 1. So you've got y is equal to 2x minus 2 and I'm designating that as equation 1 and you've got y is equal to minus x plus 1 and I'm designating that as equation 2. Now I decided I want to get rid of the x. In order to do that I need to make these have the same numbers. So what does that mean? That means that I need to take equation 2 and multiply it by 2. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take equation 2 and multiply it by 2. So what we end up with then is 2y is equal to minus 2x plus 2. Okay, I'm going to bring down equation 1, bring it down. So we've got y is equal to 2x minus 2 and you can see that we can add these equations. So if we add them we're going to get rid of the minus 2. So we get 2y plus 2 is 3y minus 2 plus 2x is 0 plus, my, plus 2 minus 2 is 0 as well. So therefore we've got 3y is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to 0. So in other words these two things are equal when y is equal to 0. Now all we have to do is substitute into either of these equations and we'll get the right answer. So let's substitute back into equation 2. So we've got y is equal to minus x plus 1. We know this works when y equals 0. Therefore we can say 0 is equal to minus x plus 1. Therefore minus 1 is equal to minus x because what I did, I just took the 1 across. Therefore x is equal to 1. Therefore a point that solves for this is x is 1, y is 0. So elimination, what we're doing is getting rid of one of the variables. So the way to do that is to make the coefficients of the same and then either add or subtract depending on what they are. So we call this equation 3 and then we added equation 3 plus equation 1 and got rid of it. Okay, it's not always this easy in the sense that y equals 0. Sometimes it can equal equal a different number then obviously you just substitute whatever that number is into either of the two original equations. You always substitute into the originals. Let's look at a different way to do simultaneous equations. This time we're doing it by substitution. What that means is we need to substitute, we need to solve for one of the variables in one of the equations and then substitute it into the other one. So I'm going to look at this and it says x plus 2y equals 11 and 2x minus 3y equals minus 6. So I see that in the second equation both the variables 2, the x and the y have got coefficients of 2 and 3. So solving for either of them is going to end up with a fraction so we don't really want to do that. If we look at the first equation, we've got x plus 2y equals 11, y has got a coefficient of 2. So again, if I solve for y, I'm going to end up with a fraction. So I'm going to use equation 1 and solve for x, okay? But you guys can do the thing with a fraction, it's fine. It's just that you're more likely, 1 is more likely to make a mistake if you've got a fraction. So I'm going to solve here for x. x is going to be 11 minus 2y. And what I'm going to do is substitute that into my second equation. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to write 11 minus 2y. So you've got 2, 11 minus 2y minus 3y is equal to minus 6. So let's multiply those brackets. 2 times 11 is 22. Minus 2 times minus 2y is 4y. Minus 3y is equal to minus 6. So we've got minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7y is equal to minus 6 plus 22. 
and 22 minus 6 is going to give me 16 so minus 7y is going to equal to 16 so y is going to be equal to 16 over 7 with a minus in front we haven't finished we now need to substitute back into our equation to get our x value I would suggest you not change this to decimals because otherwise you will get an incorrect answer with rounding. Okay, so now we got x is equal to 11 minus 2 times by minus 16 over 7, which is 11 minus, minus times the minus is a plus, 2 times 16 is 32 over 7. And then you just pop that in your calculator, you go 32 divided by 7 plus 11 and you get, in this case, it is 15 comma 57, so you can go 15 point, in fact, let me, let me just make it a bit easier for us, let's just do a common number, 7, 11 goes into 7, uh, this is actually 1, so 1 goes into 7, 7 times 7 times 11 is 77, plus 32 which gives us 2 and 7 is a 9 and 3 and 7 is 109 over 7 and that's our x value so the x value the values are 109 over 7 and minus 16 over 7 and that actually is the better way to answer this so that point there solves both of these equations is where the two lines meet Right, last way we do this is by equating. So in the first equation it says y is equal to 3x minus 26 and the second equation, the equation says y is equal to 51 minus 4x. So do you agree they're both equal to y? So therefore I can let these be equal to each other and that's what they mean by solving by equating. So we've got 3x minus 26 is equal to 51 minus 4x. So what we want to do is get all the x's onto the one side and all the numbers onto the other side. So we've got 3x plus 4x, because when you take it across the equal sign it becomes a plus, is equal to 51 plus 26. So in this case we've got 7x is equal to 77, therefore x is equal to 11. Now you've got to be careful grade 10s because most of you will make the mistake one, somewhere along the line, we all do, of going, oh good I've got x and moving on to the next question. You've got to realize that when you're solving these simultaneous equations you need to find the value of both x and y. So you need to substitute into either the first equation or the second equation, makes no difference. So I say what, let us substitute into the first one. So substitute substitute, oh dear I can't spell all of a sudden, into equation 1 and this is equation 1. So therefore we've got y is equal to 3 times 11 minus 26. 3 times 11 is 33 minus 26 is going to give me 7. Therefore my solution is 11 7. And it really doesn't matter which one you substitute into, you should get the same answer. Right, so that's the three different ways of solving simultaneous equations. Please go practice. Now let's move on to inequalities. So, inequalities. So let's have a look. Inequalities is either a greater than or a smaller than sign, or a greater than and equal to sign, or a smaller than or equal to sign. Those are your inequalities. And the most important thing about an inequality is you actually have to do a number line. So let's, but we'll worry about that in a second, let's just solve. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply out our brackets. So we've got 6x minus 3x minus 6 is greater than 3 plus 6x, okay? So 6x minus 3x is just 3x, minus 6 is greater than 3 plus 6x. So the trick then is always to get all the x's on the one side and all the numbers onto the other side. So we're going to do this. We're going to go 3x minus 6x is greater than 3 plus 6. So you've got minus 3x is greater than 9. Now we want x to be by itself. So we want to get rid of the minus 3. But yeah, grade tends you need to realize that if you divide by a negative, 
then the sign changes. In other words, if it's greater than, it changes to smaller than, or if it's smaller than, it changes to a greater than. So therefore, we can say x is going to be smaller than 9 over minus 3. Therefore, x is smaller than negative 3. And you always, always do a number line. Here is minus 3. Because this is smaller than, it doesn't include 3, and therefore we're going to draw an open circle and then a line showing that it has to be any number that is smaller than 9 minus 3. Right, let's do the next question. Again, we're going to multiply the brackets first. So we've got 5 times 2x is 10x, minus 5 times 7 is 35, minus 4x is smaller than 3 times 6 is 18, minus 3x plus 10. Let's add up all the like terms. So we've got 10x minus 4x is 6x minus 35 is smaller than 18 plus 10 is 28 minus 3x. Let's put all the x's onto the left hand side again, and all the non-x's, all the numbers onto the right hand side. So we've got 6x plus 3x is smaller than at the moment 28 plus 35. So 6x plus 3x is 9x, is smaller than 5 and 8 is 13, carry 1, that's 63. And because this is a positive number, we can just divide both sides by 9 and we get x is smaller than 7. So again, number is 7, it's a smaller than sign, so it is an open bracket and then again we've got a little arrow going there. And grade 10s, yes, you have to do the number line. Right, let's look at this one. Now it is greater than or equal to, okay, so we must remember that when we do our number line because it means we're going to get a closed dot. A greater than or equal to or a smaller than or equal to is going to give me a closed dot because that shows that's including the number. Right, so my first things first, multiply the brackets. So we've got 2 times 9 is 18, minus 2x is greater than or equal to 4x plus 6. Again, let's get all the x's to the one side and all the numbers to the other side. So we've got minus 2x minus 4x is greater than or equal to 6 minus 18. So minus 2x minus 4x is minus 6x is greater than or equal to 6 minus 18, which is minus 12. Remember what I said, if we divide by minus, what do we need to do? We need to change this, so swap it around. So therefore, x is going to be smaller than or equal to minus 12 divided by minus 6. Therefore, x is going to be smaller than or equal to 2. So this time we write the 2, but because it's an equal to, we're going to color in the dot because it means that we're including the dot, including the 2, and then again, it is smaller than. Please, guys, use a ruler. I can't use a ruler on the software, but please use a ruler. Okay, again, smaller than or equal to. So we've got 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 2 times 2 is 4x is smaller than or equal to 2 times 2 is 4x. 2 times 7 is 14. Again, let's get all the x's on the one side and all the numbers on the other side. So we've got minus 4x from here. Taking this across becomes minus 4x. Is smaller than or equal to 14. And we take this across, it becomes minus 6. So we've got minus 8x is smaller than or equal to 8. Again, divided by minus sign to get x alone, we're going to have to change this. We're going to swap it around. So x is going to be greater than or equal to 8 over minus 8. So x is going to be greater than or equal to minus 1. So in this case, the number line, it again is solid because it includes the number minus 1 and it is greater than. And that grade tends is how you do simultaneous equations and your inequalities. Please remember inequalities to do a number line. It is very important. Have a great day.